Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the various reasons for obeying God. And now that we've gone over all the best reasons for obeying God, it's time to tackle the worst, the reality of the afterlife. We spent the last few episodes discussing some of the kinds of afterlives which we can prove exist, as well as the fact that people can go to each of these places depending on certain factors. Now we just need to ask ourselves, what are those factors? Premise 1. There must be a factor which determines whether we go to heaven, hell, or somewhere in between. Premise 2. God's desire is for everyone to go to heaven. Premise 3. This factor can cause people to go to hell. Conclusion. Therefore, the factor must take precedence even over the desires of God. This is a key conclusion, since there's not a very long list of things that fall into that category. Premise 1. The reason for souls falling into hell is something that even God cannot remove. Premise 2. God is greater than any created thing. Conclusion. Therefore, the reason for souls falling into hell is not a created thing. Okay. The question of why certain souls fall into hell is really two questions at this point. The first, why can't God just bring rebellious souls to heaven, has already been answered. It's impossible to force a person to freely choose him. This ultimately leaves us with only one question. Why can't God change heaven a little in order to accommodate the lost souls? Premise 1. Heaven involves being in the presence of God, of infinite truth, charity, and virtue. Premise 2. God's nature cannot change. Conclusion. Therefore, God cannot change the nature of heaven in order to accommodate sin and evil. This is the big sticking point. God has only one nature, true, pure, and uncompromising. It's this very nature that gave him his reason for creating the universe. No other kind of nature would have prompted such a magnanimous gift. And now, we have to live with that. This is why we need to ask for God's mercy in helping to purify us of sin and rebelliousness. We can't be truly whole or truly happy unless we're with Him. But we can't be happy even with Him unless we accustom ourselves to good and right conduct. This is the grave nature of sin. We're not doing anything to hurt God by sinning, but we do hurt our own ability to appreciate His gifts and His presence, and we do hurt our future prospects as a direct result of that. Because of this, if we bathe ourselves in sin, immerse ourselves in wickedness, we eventually become so distorted that to be with a being as pure as God would be horrifying, and we would cast ourselves into hell to escape it. This is what hell is. It's not like a prison sentence, it's the consequence of human free will. Impenitent sinners throw themselves into hell in order to escape from the source of all righteousness. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.